This is the shrine dedicated to St. Joseph, the patron of families, here at the Bellarmine Retreat House outside Chicago. It was donated to the retreat house by my brothers and sisters after my parents died. All of us come from families and all of our families are dysfunctional to some degree. St. Joseph is the patron saint of families. I'd like to tell you about another of the stepping stones of my life where I've experienced a powerful healing in my own life. My parents had five kids all together. We grew up on the northwest side of Chicago and then we moved out to the northern suburbs. My mom was very devout. She was the prayer in the family. We never went to bed without a story and our good night prayers. Um, and sometimes my dad would join us for the evening, evening prayers and, and sometimes not. But my dad was very active in the church. He was a doer and he was a leader. But my dad had a bad, uh, a bad temper and he drank too much. And when he drank too much, his bad temper would become exaggerated. And frequently the object of scorn for my dad was my mom. And that used to really bother me. And I, I, I grew up con heavily conflicted because I admired my dad and saw all the good things that he did, but I also saw his shadow side and I got angry at, at him. And so it was like there was this clash inside of me. I love my dad and yet I, I don't like a lot of his behavior. And that was a source of much tension in, inside me. But I think the most significant experience for me was one of really meditating on what Jesus had to say when he told us, call no man on earth your father. I'll never forget when I started meditating on that, ex on that passage of call no man on earth your father. And I prayed for the grace to be able to forgive my dad for not being the perfect dad, for just being a human being. My dad was a good man, don't get me wrong. He did many, many, many good things. But like all of us, he was a sinner. But when I really took to heart Jesus saying, you have one father, your heavenly father in heaven. And I began to pray the Lord's prayer, our father in heaven, hallowed be thy name, with a much, much deeper understanding and I really started to believe that God loved me as a son, that I was his adopted son, that Jesus came to reveal that deep truth in my life. Then what shifted was my relationship with my dad. And I started thinking of my dad as my older brother. And somehow that made it much easier for me to be able to forgive him when I just thought of him as, well, he's my older brother and he does some really good things and he does some really stupid things. But my dad, my daddy in heaven, he's the one who loves me unconditionally. He's the one that I want to emulate. He's the one whose words I want to listen to and follow. That was an extraordinary stepping stone in my life of really embracing God as my father. I love to come to this, this little gazebo shrine, partially because it reminds me of my mom and dad. There's a little plaque by St. Joseph's statue that was, was given after my dad died. And this reminds me of my parents, but there are literally hundreds of people who have come to this shrine now and prayed here of invoking St. Joseph's special patronage, of entering more deeply into the quiet and realizing who we are as God's beloved. Amen. Amen.